Welcome to our next class and today we'll be going to start uh, next topic invoice variances and blocking reasons. So the topics that we're going to cover they are enter invoices with variances, circumstances under which the system blocks invoice, posting for standard and moving average priced stock material, invoice reduction, account movements during invoice reduction, invoice reduction without reference to an item, release invoices manually at item and header level, release an invoice automatically, workflow in invoice release. So first of all we again start with the business example. So suppose one of your vendors sometimes sends an invoice for a higher amount than that agreed upon in the purchase order. Sometimes the vendor may include the entire quantity on an invoice although you have not yet received all the goods. You need to implement invoice blocking to ensure that you do not pay the vendor until these differences have been corrected. Okay, so in simple words what happens is for example to my vendor I have uh, sent them a purchase order for say 100 pieces of some goods. So far I have received say 50 pieces only but they have sent me the invoice for the complete 100 pieces. Okay, so when I will do the invoice verification, so how system should behave? So system should know that because we have not received the complete goods, how we can pay the complete amount to the vendor, so system will block it. Okay, this is called variance. So variance can be of different types that we'll see here in a minute. So invoice block due to variance. So again what we want is the system should be blocking the invoice automatically without our intervention. Okay. Now for example this is another example that for example says um, we received uh, we received the from the vendor we received uh, an invoice and it can vary from the um, standard uh, the actual quantity uh, sorry amount okay so let me explain that here um, okay so suppose I created a purchase order which I sent to the vendor say for say hundred dollar value okay now suppose good receipts is done done and now we receive the invoice okay so invoice can be say customer send the invoice maybe hundred and twenty dollars okay the actual was hundred but we received an invoice from the customer which is saying hundred and twenty dollar we need to pay them for the same purchase order which is wrong or they can say no not one twenty or they can say maybe eighty eight dollars okay could be something else so how we want the system to behave and what are the different types of customizing that options we have so that it should be blocked on some specific scenario. So this is what we're going to see here in today's class. So here in the slide you can see um, So here you can see uh, that we send a purchase order to the vendor and vendor we have done the good receipt as well. Now vendor send us the invoice amount that we need to pay. Now you you can set up say 10% plus okay and 10% minus. This is plus on the right hand side this is minus on, on the left hand side. That means if we can set the tolerance in the customizing that if the invoice is within 10% it's fine. Okay, we, we're not worried about that. If it is beyond 10% then system should block it when it is higher. Okay, so in the case of lower. So you can see here this is 10% less. Okay, than the actual amount. So say if invoice, actual invoice should be 100 they send us for $90. Okay, so if it is less uh, amount in that case system will show you a warning message here you will get a warning that 
some warning that actual amount is less than the, the, the purchase order amount. And you can ignore the warning, press enter and system will post it. Okay, even it is $90, even if it is $80, if it is less, then we are not worried about it because we are paying the less money to the vendor. However, in the case when the vendor will be sending more than 10%, okay, if it is within 10%, say uh, between $100 and $110, in that case, what will happen is system will give us a warning here that invoice is more than the actual amount, all right. And if we can ignore the warning by pressing enter and system will ignore it. However, if it is greater than 110, say 111 to greater than this value, okay, greater than or equal to this value, in that case, system will block it. That means we go, we're not going to pay the vendor more than the desired amount. This is a desired amount that we're supposed to pay, but more than that, if we receive an invoice, system will automatically block it. Okay, so let's do some practicals as well. Say, um, now before we do the practicals, let's see this slide first. Now we can have different types of variances when we doing the invoice receipt we can have different types of variances and these variances can be of quantity the quantity can be different in the invoice that we received um, price can be different or the date can be different as well all right so let's see all three types so here you can see that first example is quantity okay that's a quantity one so with quantity say we have sent we have received only 40 pieces of the goods okay so maybe the purchase order may be for 50 pieces we receive only 40 pieces here but the customer send us invoice for 50 pieces that means we still need to receive 10 pieces so in that case system will block it this is a quantity block and then we can have price block if the purchase order is saying i am 5 dollar per piece and the invoice we received later on is saying I'm six dollar per piece. Again, there's a difference in the price. System will block it again. Or there can be a combination of price and quantity. Okay, for example, here you can see purchase order is saying ten pieces at twenty gram uh, each. Okay, so it will be two hundred gram for total for ten pieces. However, when we done the good received, instead of two two hundred grams, we received two thirty. And during the invoices, they send us invoice for 250 gram, right? So again, there's a difference, there's a variance. So this is called purchase order price quantity. This is called price quantity variance and system will block it. And the, the last one is uh, date variance. Okay, date variance means that purchase order is saying that on say May 21st, um, I will be receiving my goods from the vendor. Okay, however, system send us invoice on with a date on it, which is saying April 11, which is before this date, which is wrong. So invoice should be coming after this date. So this is wrong. That is why system will block it again. So we'll see all this customizing here in a minute as well. So another thing I want to show you that system is smart enough to find that if the purchase order say here the quantity is set 10 10 quantity at at hundred dollar okay and the good received is say um, only six pieces okay so during the invoice system will tell you that I received only six pieces okay so let's do let's let me show you this one if I quickly create one purchase order Ten quantity, one thousand, and just save it. Click on the message. Copy the purchase order number.